Well, here we are again, Miss Nancy and Rico. Are you praying? No. What you doing? I'm admiring my new shoes. Oh, they are very nice. Waco has new shoes. Tell them who gave you your new shoes. Elliot. Elliot gave him new shoes. Thank you, Elliot. I like new new shoes. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Today, I'm going to tell you a story. Okay. The story of Jonah. I heard that a billion times. I'm going to tell you the whole story. Oh, the whole story. Yeah. Well, it begins with God calling Jonah. And you and I have talked about this before, about how God calls us in a lot of different ways. Yes, yes. Well, God called Jonah and he said, get thee to Nineveh. Get thee to Nineveh! Remember, God calls us in a lot of ways, sometimes very quietly. Get thee to Nineveh. Sometimes by whispering in our ears. Get thee to Nineveh. Sometimes it's something we read or see on television. You never know how you're going to hear the voice of God. Anyway, Jonah heard the voice of God. He did, yes. He heard God say, get thee to Nineveh. But he didn't want to go to Nineveh. No, no. Well, Jonah was lucky because God called him. That's good. But Jonah didn't want to go. That's bad. He went to Joppa. That's good. Why? I like to say Joppa. It was bad. He disobeyed God and he ran away the opposite direction as fast as he could go. Luckily for him, he found a ship going that way. That's good. But a huge storm came up. That's bad. And all of the sailors were terrified for their lives. That's bad. But Jonah knew how to stop the storm. That's good. They had to throw him overboard. That's bad. <laughs> so finally he convinced them and they threw him overboard. That's bad. But the storm stopped. That's good. But Jonah was drowning in the ocean. That's bad. God sent him salvation. That's good. In the form of a fish that swallowed him. That's bad. He was in the fish's belly three whole days. That's really bad. Well, while he was in the fish's belly, Jonah knew he had done the wrong thing. And so he fell down on his knees and he said that he was sorry. <sighs> he repented. That's good. Good. And so God saved him. That's really good. By making the fish throw him up. That's disgusting. Fish threw Jonah up. And then get, guess what Jonah did? He got him to Nineveh. He got him to Nineveh. He did. He went to Nineveh. Well, he did all of the things that he knew he was supposed to do. And the people even began to repent. And they called on God. That's good. But for some reason, Jonah got all mad. Why? I don't know. People get their wires crossed. They get angry about things. I'm not really sure, but he was mad. So he just went out and sat in the sun. That's bad. And he got all hot and bothered and mad. That's really bad. Well, while he was sitting there getting hotter and madder, God sent a beautiful green plant to grow up over his head. That's good. And shade him from the sun. That's really good. And then God sent a worm to eat the plant. That's bad. And the plant died and he was hot and bothered again. Really bad. Well, then what happened? Well, I'm gonna end the story there. Why? Because I don't know what happened. Anyway, here's what the story of Jonah means, I think. The story of Jonah is like all of our lives. Have you been eaten by a fish? No, and I hope you never will either. But bad things have happened in my life, sad things. Sad things? Yes. And good things? And good things. Good things happen and bad things happen. You lost one of your shoes. That was bad. But then Elliot outgrew these and he gave you these. That's good. Here's the real thing I want you to know. In the good times and in the bad times, at Joppa and at Nineveh, God is there. That is grace. God loved Jonah when he was doing the right thing. And God loved Jonah when he was doing the wrong thing. That's grace. In our country right now, we're having all kinds of bad things. Corona. The COVID. And some people do one thing and some people do another and God loves them both. And in our country right now, we're having all kinds of unrest and people are mad about a lot of things. And some people put up one kind of sign and some people put up another. And God loves them both. That is grace. Grace is God loving us when we deserve it and when we don't. Grace is God loving us when we do the right thing and when we do the wrong thing. 
It's called Nothing Us when we get thee to Nineveh and when they go to Joppa. Yes, God loves Joppa and God loves Nineveh just the same. And sometimes it's hard to remember that. But I think you got it. I got it. Yeah. Well, so here's the deal. Go to Nineveh when God tells you. Always do right because that's what God wants of you. But the truth is God always loves you no matter what. Let's pray. Okay. Okay. Can I say it one more time? Sure. Get the to Nineveh. That's good. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for old stories and new. For old stories and new. Thank you for lost shoes. Thank you for lost shoes. And for new shoes. And for new shoes. Thank you for Nineveh. Thank you for Nineveh. And Joppa. And Joppa. Thank you for grace. Thank you for grace. Amen. Amen. Amen.